Akshay Kumar Datta also spelt Akshay Kumar Dutta Bengali, Aksaya Kumara Datta the 15th of July 1820 to the 18th of May 1886 was a Bengali writer from the Indian subcontinent. He was born in Bagarhat, British India. Son of Patambur Dutta, he was one of the initiators of the Bengal Renaissance. Topic: <laughs> Early life and studies. After studying in the Oriental Seminary under the special care of Hardman Jeffroy, he had to give up studies because of the death of his father and go job seeking. However, that could not put an end to his yearning for learning. At the Sovabazar Rajbari Library, he studied and mastered calculus and geometry. He had learned Sanskrit and Persian, and read the Hindu scriptures at school. He acquired proficiency in French, German and various Indian languages. He composed the poetry book Anangamoan at the age of 14. While a youngster he used to translate news items and features for ISWAR Chandra Gupta's Sambad Prabhakar. He even studied in medical college for some time to gain knowledge of botany, zoology and chemistry. Writing <inaudible> 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 In 1839, he joined the Tatwabodini Sabha and soon became its assistant secretary. He was appointed a teacher of the Tatwabodini Pathsala the next year and in 1843, Tatwabodini Patrika was published as mouthpiece of both the Tatwabodini Sabha and Brahmo Samaj. He was the first editor of the journal and contributed substantially towards the development of prose writing in Bengali. He was the first Bengali writer to seriously work for the propagation of a modern scientific outlook, writing books on physics and geography in Bengali. He also wrote profusely on astronomy, mathematics and geology. The students of Hindu college used to make fun of Bengali writing and some even felt that nothing worthwhile can be written in the Bengali language. However, whenever, Tatwabodini Patrika came out they not only read it seriously but even brought it to the attention of one another. Akshay Kumar Datta was the first person in the Brahmo Samaj to boldly proclaim that the Vedas were not infallible. He succeeded in convincing Dabendranath Tagore in this respect and ultimately Brahmo Samaj adopted the thinking that while it respected all religious scriptures it did not consider any as infallible. It was in this perspective that Dabendranath Tagore wrote Brahmo Dharma. Magnum opus. In 1855, he developed some kind of agonizing cerebral problem and could not continue with his massive work for the Tatwabodini Patrika. His work was such that sometimes he used to spend the entire night writing. Moreover, he had serious philosophical and theological differences with his employer Dabendranath Tagore. He left Tatwabodini and served for some time as principal of the normal school for teachers training established by ISWAR Chandra Vidyasagar, his friend and mentor. His magnum opus was the two-part Bharat Bharshiya Upasak Sampraday Volume 1, 1871, Volume 2, 1883. The brilliant introductions to the two volumes of this book evince his profound philosophical, linguistic and scientific learning and depth. Among others, Max Muller, Monier Williams and Rajendralal Mitra were greatly impressed by his profound scholarship, though not agreeing on all points. Topic. Major points Deeply influenced by Francis Bacon, Isaac Newton, John Stuart Mill, Auguste Comte, Charles Darwin, Thomas Henry Huxley and Ramohan Roy, he was among the first few men in modern India who had presented an empiricist critique of the ancient Indian philosophies. He was bold enough to point out that contrary to popular belief, much of Indian philosophy was suffused with atheist and skeptical thought. For example, Samkhya was professedly atheist, Patanjali, Yoga, while no doubt theist, basically explained the applied aspects of Samkhya, Vaisheshika traced the ultimate reality to Paramanu, i.e., Adams, Nyaya studied the logic and methodology of studying reality, Purba Mimamsa of Jaimini poo pooed gods, even Vedanta, while accepting that Brahma was the ultimate reality, said that God was not the creator but the constructor of the world. Jainism, Charvaka philosophy and Buddhism also had no place for God, he showed. He was an agnostic and went against all religions, considering them to be harmful for humanity. Topic. 
Other works His other books were, Bayabaster Sayat Manabprakritir Sambanda Bichar based on the Constitution of Man by George Coombe, Dharmaniti, Prachan Hindutar Samudrajatra O Banijya Bistar published posthumously by his son Rajani Nath Datta Charupath in three volumes, and Padarthayavidya. The textbook Charupath was mandatory reading for almost three generations. Akshay Datta earned a lot of money from it. This he spent in building up a botanical garden and a geological museum at Chauvin Udian, his retreat at Bali and Howrah. The portraits of Newton, Darwin, Mill, T. H. Huxley, and Raja Ram Mohan Roy hung in his study cum laboratory. <laughs> Personal life His family life was not happy. Relations with both his wife and his sons were strained. In a sense he died a lonely man, leaving a substantial amount for the Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science. A few days after his death in 1886 at Bali in Howrah, a meeting was held in Calcutta where tall promises were made on how to immortalize his memory. But absolutely nothing emerged and eventually he became forgotten. The renowned Bengali poet Satendranath Dutta was his grandson. <laughs> 